what is, how does it feel to arrive at 90? If Bora was here, <laughs> he would say, es una Puta madre. <laughs> Some of you know what it means. <laughs> 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 For me, I, I agree in a way with uh, with Bora, <laughs> but I have to appreciate the things that have happened during these years. My children from my my first marriage, my first my first wife, who was a wonderful woman, <coughs> Janet Avril Roberts Blair. I remember Vivian when she was born at the old ABC hospital. <laughs> then came Monty. Then came Marion. And Janet Avril became and was a wonderful mother to these three children. And for reasons that we don't have to explain, she died very young. And my boss. Henry Utah, we had the representation of Monsanto Chemical Company. His wife, Bobby, Bobby Utah, mm -hmm. oh, within a year or so, I guess, after Janet had died, he said that there was going to be a birthday party for Henry, and that he had a mysterious <laughs> potential Red date for me. <laughs> <laughs> mysterious. Mysterious. And the mysterious potential date happened to be a lady who had been married before, had a wonderful son, and she was a redhead. Still is. Still is. <laughs> and so I meet her at this birthday party of Henry Utah, and for some reason, she struck me. Oh, oh. In the face? <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, I became kind of friendly. <laughs> and I remember asking her if we could see each other again. And she said, well, she was awfully busy, that she was going on a tiger hunt to India. <laughs> and finally I was able to manage getting her to give me a date on a Friday. And we I think I took her to some nightclub no. in, the, in the Mexico City, <laughs> old part of the old city. One, two, and slowly I was three, able three, to work three. not only Friday, but I could go do see her on Saturdays. <laughs> and I remember taking her to uh, one of the convents. <laughs> <laughs> where my grandfather had actually intervened on the way on the on the way out of the city 
going to Tepoztlan. Um, my grandfather had actually restored this particular convent. And I remember taking her there, and we were we were standing in in one of the uh, on the second floor, looking down on a patio in a garden. And I don't know why, but I was trying to convince her that she shouldn't go on this tiger hunt to India. That I was a better tiger. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't drink anything. <laughs> and I don't know what the hell happened, but she agreed. <laughs> and so here we are. But she had something more to add. And that was a wonderful young man who was about the same age as Vivian. A little bit young. a wonderful and became a wonderful son because we now had four children which was Wensi, Vivian. She goes first, she's older. <laughs> <laughs> we tree off. Vivian and then Wensi and then, Wensi, and then uh, Monty, Monty, Donald Monty and uh, Marion who unfortunately left us about two years ago. We don't have to be sorrowful for the loss of a wonderful young little girl or young woman because we have with us her son, Adrian, and Marco, por donde andas? Aquí está Marco. Bravo. Bravo. And I am most grateful that you have been with us because you are bringing not only her spirit but her love to me, her dad. Thank you so much. And now I can't forget a wonderful friend. A wonderful friend who has become really my brother. Nick Petrovich. I think Nick is here somewhere. Like he would say in the bathroom. Was a young <laughs> guerrilla fighter in Serbia. fighting the Germans during the Second World War. He was 16 or 17. And the memory I have is that when I was landing on D-Day in June the 6th of 1944 in Normandy on Omaha Beach, Nick was fighting as a guerrilla fighter in Serbia. Quite a few years passed between that particular period, 19, it was 1944, 1944, till, I guess I, you would call it, Almost 20 years. Divine Providence. 
brought us together. <laughs> Kathy and I had just gone on a honeymoon trip to all of Latin America because the company that we represented, Monsanto, had representatives in all of those, all of those countries. And coming back in Panama, <laughs> the man who was the Monsanto representative, which we looked up, said that Monsanto was sending an accountant to look over the books of the company <laughs> because Henry Utah, my boss, was running a country club operation. <laughs> <laughs> and Nick was coming to supervise. Another place, especially up close and personal like we do. These three men fought for our freedom. Dan suffered the Japanese for four years. Three and a half. Three okay, and close half. enough. <laughs> Nick's done his part and he's told us his story and his dad too. But um, we have so much to thank them for that I would uh, say to all of you now, thank you for showing us the way. I hope we can stand in your shoes. God bless the three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.